So let's start designing our system. Uh, let's start making the software regarding that. And what we need to do here is to open a main block. So let's save that from over there. And after opening the main block, we will go into the basic instructions section. And then we will come to this technology object section and click on motion control. Like I've said, motion control blocks are the same for servo and step motors. I can set up a servo motor here, but I can also connect a step motor. There wouldn't be a single difference. The operations I will be doing here will be identical in servo and step motors. So now, let's try to get to know these blocks one by one. Friends, first and foremost, we will be using the power block. This block ensures that my system works and it powers my system. I mean, I'm referring to this one. So, if I activate this block, my other blocks will start working as well. However, if the power block isn't active, then the other blocks will be deactive as well. So I am selecting the axis right now and I will say 0.0, .0 for the enable section, like I've said before. So uh, we have this stop mods here and start mods there. Uh, we can do something like this for them as well. Um, for example, if you are wondering what any of these uh, modes mean, you can click on one of them and press F1 for going into the help section. So that way you can see what these modes mean. So what is this stop mode for example? Let's find out. Uh, we have the emergency stop and immediate stop. Uh, we have emergency stop with jerk control. Uh, I mean we have options like do emergency stop according to the ramp up function. And uh, this block here is the main block that houses the system. Therefore there is an option box that can stop the system whichever way you select. I will select zero here. So apart from that, we have the error ID section here. Uh, let's write a marker field there. And that way we will be able to find the error in detail if we ever get one. I wrote that as well. And now let's change this into MW02. So one of them will give the main code of the error and the other will give us the subcodes. I mean, the one above will say, for example, communications error, and I will see a code like uh, 802 for that. And below, it will say E, and then I'll be looking for the E error in the 802 section. For example, let's say that we have a problem in the connection cable. I'll be seeing the details of the error like can't receive data in the below section. I do something like this while writing my programs, but I will demonstrate this later, not in this one. Now, I'm appointing this under a move block so I can see where the system is at any given time. Now, I did that, I did the power section, and after the power section, let me pull that home block. So, let me place the home block, and what is a home block? Well, friends, the home block performs the homing operation. So, this block says the system to go to the zero point. 